Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our channel. This is Dr. Bet TV. And what we do on this channel is we create awareness about prevention of diseases and, of course, management of many other diseases. Today, we are celebrating the World Antimicrobial uh, Resistance Awareness Week, which is time World 2023. Uh, South Center, in collaboration with AAA, uh, sent us to enlighten people about the prevention of uh, antimicrobial resistance. So we don't want to wait until uh, everyone has issue of antimicrobial resistance until we start looking for solution. Because it has been estimated that by the year 2050, about 10 million people globally will die as a result of antimicrobial resistance related issues or the other. So we've went to various religious institutions to enlighten people about the antimicrobial resistance and how to prevent it. Follow me in this video as we'll be showing you what we discuss with the people. And of course, if you are here to subscribe to this channel, this is the right time to do it. And please make sure you share this video. Let everyone benefit from it. Thank you. Bye for now.
whatever that has been prescribed for you. And it works for you. So when you are uh, maybe your any of your family or your relatives or your friends or your, uh, your family, they have similar symptoms. And they don't feel that um, I'm not I have this and I'm experiencing this and that. So you are not supposed to recommend uh, the same antibiotics for all those that work for you, because it works for you. The symptoms are similar for you. So if that was the thing that I can in the we also can understand and also to answer the question. So how can we, what, what can we do? How can we get over this issue of what to make the guys? Because like you said, if this plan continues, it's going to have a very good certificate on us because we all know how the big guy is dangerous. And the cost of medicine is rising now. We all know how many things that used to be one that like six or eight hundred years old, but now it's more than twenty thousand years. And all we see or all the other to fight like because of medical medical process increases. So this is the reason why we need to be very careful with the security. So the main house, before we use any drug, and before we use any antibiotic, the ones that are not active are also active that are divided into one. We should see how the professionals are advice. And when they are advice, we should see we should stick to the advice. If they say we should use a drug in a particular way, we should use it that way and not in another form that is not being recommended. And another way that we think you can get rid of your passing bacterial resistance is to what? We all know the common of passing that prevention is better than pills. So it is better to maintain a, a good idea, good sanitation that will prevent us from getting infected with microorganisms than getting infected with this organism and, and trying to move for pills. So let us prevent rather than trying to move for pills. So another uh, way by which we can convert these uh, layers of anti bacterial resistance by education and enlightening our friends, our family, our relatives about the danger of antimicrobial resistance. Both of you, if someone gets infected now and has to buy a new thing, it's more than 20,000 now. Where do we get the money this time of the economy? Where things are very hard. So I hope I've been able to uh, educate us about uh, the danger of antimicrobial resistance. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Uh, uh, in conclusion, we really appreciate. Uh, Pastor and our father and everyone for your time. Uh, just to add to what you said, let us just imagine the scenario that happened during the COVID 19 pandemic. Each and every one of us was thinking, could this be the end of the world? Because in Nigeria, we thank God we didn't have a lot of, we didn't have casualties like that, same to say, but we still lose a lot of people. Fast. Medical doctors died. Now let's imagine what happened in Italy, in Spain, and many other countries where people were dying in thousands. This was what happened around 1800, 1820, when there was no antimicrobial drugs. Now we are going back to that era if we are not very careful. Now you go and buy a particular drug, you use the drug, the drug will work very well and perfectly for you. But after some months or years, when you have the same disease, you buy the same drug and you realize that it doesn't work again. If we test every one of us sitting here, I'm very sure that many of us will have developed resistance to some drugs, but we will not know. Just because we can it's not it on our edge, that's why we don't know we you have resistance to a particular drug. So we are pleading. The triple A has done its own part. South Centre has done its own part. And we, as your children, we are here doing our own part. We are now pleading that everyone uh, in this Sunday service, let us ensure we do our own part. Use your drug, even when you feel well, make sure you complete the dosage. Don't use drugs of self-medication. Let it be prescribed by your doctor. Don't collect drugs from your friend if it is not recommended for you. And at the same time, as we are passing this information, we want to plead that it doesn't hurt here. When we get to our various schools, let us talk to our family, our friends, and our Lord. Thank you so much for having us. Everyone, we are live here at the Christ Apostolic Church, Samuel Jolie, for the World EMR Awareness Week in 3. So, health is wealth. Let's make sure we take care of ourselves. Thank 
que el pueblo de Jesús es diferente. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs>
qui n'est pas touché les pays COVID-19 virus et yokan les nous globaux virus pour la ligne et yokan nous d'abord pas ici à la table non kabawa ou qui a mangé au globe ou vous cherchez que des petits petits mots différents à voir que vous êtes au bout à voir que les pays perdent ses liens vous cherchez pour des trois petits yes pour des pas mais vous êtes libre pour l'assistance à vous y aller bien on vous dit que vous êtes yes ตาบัดที่เดียวที่เราเสียอายุชีวิตเชียวก็ตายเลยเพราะว่าคุณก็น่าจูอายุชีวิตเชียวเกิดเชื่อจูอายุวิ่งเลยตาบัดที่เบค
not because they prescribe it for your friend that you think you have the same symptoms. Don't forget, in medicine, you don't treat symptoms, rather you treat disease. So that's why you need to consult your doctor, let them prescribe the drug for you, then it is the same drug you are free to use it. Then another thing is our personal hygiene. Let's ensure we wash our hands with water and soap regularly. This is one of the beauty of solving the problem of COVID-19. And of course, it has tested positive to treat so many of diseases. So by being of this, and last but not the least, this information we are passing it to you. The South Centre has done their own part. Chipotle has done their own part. We as their champion in Kano, we are doing our own part. We want to plead that you are fathers and mother. You also do your part. When you get to that your friends, your husband is not here, your wife, your children, and members of your family, make sure you exchange this information to them. Let them have this information so that we can end antimicrobial resistance together. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.